हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम डॉक्टर माला दास शर्मा रिटायर्ड प्रोफेसर ऑफ सेंट पायस टेंथ डिग्री एंड पीजी कॉलेज फॉर वोमेन हैदराबाद वेलकम टू माय चैनल केम फिलिक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द 25th एपिसोड ऑफ टीचिंग केमिस्ट्री थ्रू रीडिंग डू वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड वेल द आंसर्स ऑफ द व्यूअर्स क्वेश्चन एट योर अर्लीएस्ट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट रीडिंग नंबर 25 Compound A is a pale yellow volatile liquid used as a solvent for fats, oils, waxes, resins, etc. It is well known for paint and varnish removal. It fulfills the criteria for responding iodoform test. PMR spectra of the compound is shown here. So the PMR spectra of the compound is this one. Now let's see the question. The only question or single question associated with the reading is for the viewers. So, what is the question? The question is, what is compound A? That means you have to identify compound A. So, mail your answer as early as possible. You have to mail your answer to mail ID Mala Kempili. at gmail.com you have to write name in the mail and then affiliation which is not mandatory then place and then you have to write answers of the viewers question of riddle number 25 and then give the answer so in this video we will discuss or i'll interpret the pmr spectra of few organic compounds the first one is 1 bromopropane now see this is 1 bromopropane and here you see you have three sets of equivalent protons this green colored proton these three are one set of equivalent protons then this black color two protons this is another set of equivalent protons and then this two blue color proton this is another set of equivalent proton now this green color three protons which is attached to this carbon atom here this carbon atom is not attached with any electronegative atom therefore electron density around these protons will be more so that nmr signal or nmr peak of these protons will be in the up field and moreover if see for these protons the adjacent carbon atom has two protons that means there are two neighboring protons therefore nmr peaks of these three protons or of these equivalent protons will be split it into 3 2 1 3 so you will get a triplet for this set of equivalent proton and that will be comparatively up field so this is the signals it is a triplet now coming to this set of equivalent protons here also this carbon atom is not attached to any electronegative atom but the neighboring carbon atom is attached to electronegative atom bromine and this inductive effect that is minus i effect transmitted through the chain so in this carbon atom to some extent the effect will be there but effect will be very less in to in this carbon atom so now so therefore the pmr peak of this set of equivalent protons will be at little bit down field compared to that of this set of equivalent protons and moreover for this set of equivalent protons there are 3 plus 2 five neighboring protons therefore the nmr signal will be split it into 5 plus 1 6 so you will get a multiplet of 6 peaks which will be little down field compared to the nmr peak or pmr uh, signal of these protons okay now coming to this protons of attached to this carbon atom that means this blue colored protons okay now this carbon atom is attached to electron directly attached to electronegative bromine atom so therefore the electron density around these protons will be less 
that means these protons will be in the deshielded region so nmr peak or pmr peak of these protons will be at the downfield compared to these protons and these protons and moreover neighboring protons are only two which is attached to this adjacent carbon atom so as the neighboring protons are two the nmr peak of these protons will be split it into three two plus one so we'll get a triplet at the downfield so this is the spectra of this nmr spectra of this compound now coming to the PMR spectra of ethyl acetate. So this is ethyl acetate molecule. Now look at this set of equivalent protons. These three red colored protons attached to this carbon atom. They form one set of equivalent proton. And these protons are attached to this carbon atom which is directly attached to electron attracting carbonyl group. Therefore, the PMR absorption peak will be little bit downfield because electron density around this proton will be less. That means they will be little bit to some extent in the deshielded position. So, you will get the PMR peak at to some extent downfield. And moreover, there is no neighboring proton. That means the adjacent carbon atom does not have any proton. So there will be no splitting of the NMR signal and you will get a single peak like this. This single peak for this set of equivalent protons. <coughs> now coming to this set of equivalent protons, which are blue in color here. So, now look at here. This set of equivalent protons, they are attached to this carbon atom, which is directly attached to this strong electronegative oxygen atom. That means, electron density around these protons will be less. There will be more deshielded region. So, their absorption peak will come at the downfield. And moreover, in the neighboring carbon atom, the neighboring carbon atom has three protons. So, this set of equivalent protons have the three neighboring protons. So therefore, the PMR signal will be split it into 3 plus 1, 4. You will get a quadrant. So, this is the peak. It will be in the downfield, the shielded position and PMR spectra is split it into 3. That is in the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Now, coming to this set of equivalent protons, which are green in color. Now, these protons are attached to this carbon atom, which is not attached to any electronegative atom or electron withdrawing group. So, therefore, electron density around these protons will be more. That means, this set of protons are in, or these equivalent protons, they are in the shielded position. Shielded position means the PMR absorption peak will arise at the upfield. And the adjacent carbon atom has two protons. That means for this set of equivalent protons, there are two neighboring protons. So the PMR signal will be split it into 2 plus 1, 3. So this is the PMR signal which is split it to 3 in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 1. Now coming to PMR spectra of ethanol. Now see, anisotropic effect, I have already discussed that this applied magnetic field or magnetic field is applied, uh, uh, oriented at the perpendicular to that of this molecule, aldehyde molecule. That means the aldehyde molecules will be at perpendicular position with that of the applied magnetic field. In that case, this induced magnetic field or secondary magnetic field generated by the circulation of this pi electron, C double bonded O, this pi bonded electron, circulation of this pi electron which is aligned to this applied magnetic field, they will reinforce the magnetic field at this position, this position and this position. So therefore, these positions are deshielded position. Now, this aldehyde proton is placed at the deshielded position. That's why it, will <coughs> it is already experiencing more magnetic field. So, it will give the uh, PMR peak at 
lower magnetic field or down field. Moreover, this carbon atom is attached to strong electronegative oxygen atom. Therefore, this electron density around this proton is further decreased. And as a result, this proton is in the highly deshielded region and its PMR peak arises at the very much down field. Now, let's see. So, this aldehyde proton, already I explained that its PMR peak will be highly deshielded region. Here, its PMR peak and the neighboring carbon atom has three protons. So, therefore, there are three neighboring protons. So, PMR peak will be split it into 3 plus 1 that is quadrate or 4 at the ratio of 1 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Now, coming to these protons which is attached to this carbon atom, it is, it will be much more upfield compared to this proton. Though this carbon atom is attached to this electron attracting this aldehyde group, but it will be much more upfield position and electron density around this proton will be more. That means this proton will be in the, this proton will be in the shielded position. And moreover, for these protons, there are uh, there is only one neighboring proton. So, the PMR signal will be split it into two, one plus one, two. Then you will get a doublet. So, signal will be here actually and uh, if you use the um, uh, strong uh, resolution, if you see the uh, speak at the strong resolution or high resolution, you will get, you can see the doublet. Now, this is with high benzene. And in the benzene ring, one of the hydrogen atom is replaced by methyl group. So, the six carbon atom and all these five protons which are attached to the carbon atoms of the ring, they are in the one plane. And this methyl group, it is in other plane. Now, what happened? This uh, I electron clouds above and below the ring, you know the benzene ring has delocalized pi electron clouds. And if you apply the external magnetic field perpendicular to this plane of the ring, perpendicular to the plane of the ring, then this induced magnetic field arises due to the circulation of these pi electrons that will be also perpendicular to the plane of the ring. And this induced magnetic field reinforces the applied magnetic field in this region that means outside the ring. Outside the ring it reinforces the applied magnetic field and you see this proton attached to the ring carbon atom they are all outside the rings that means these protons are at highly deshielded region and moreover this circulation of this delocalized pi electron cloud and circulation of this pi electron cloud it May, it uh, makes the same electronic environment for all these ring protons. That means ring protons will experiencing the will experience the same magnetic field. So they will give the signal only in one position. All these here are five ring protons. No, five ring protons they will get the one signal in one position, single signal, because all these protons, the circulation of this delocalized pi electron clouds make these protons to experience the same magnetic field. Okay? But now, this methyl proton, as I told you that, inside the ring, this is shielded position. That means, this uh, induced magnetic field opposes the applied magnetic field. Even above and below the ring also, that is shielded position. There, there also, this induced magnetic field opposes the applied magnetic field. Now, this methyl group protons, they are in the above or below. So, they are in the shielded position. Therefore, compared to these ring protons, therefore, its PMR peak will arise at the up field. Let's see. Now, look at here. These five protons attached to the benzene ring. For them, this PMR signal is here, which is at down field. But for this three methyl proton, the PMR signal or PMR peaks will be at up field. So, this is the PMR spectra of Tolvin. So, with this, we have come to the end of today's discussion. Thank you.